Hi again. So today we're going to be discussing two uses of the subjunctive, the indirect command and the indirect question. So we'll start with the indirect command. And let me write that down. In direct command to start out with. And an English example of an indirect command is, let me just say to you verbally, they told him to speak. And indirect commands are set up by a verb of asking or requesting. So let me write that down. Set up by verb of asking or requesting. Okay, so some of the more common Latin ones include, and I'll just give you the first part of the dictionary entry, the first word, and it's rogo, quiro, oro, moneo, and hortor, among others. But the actual command itself, or in the case of the example I just gave you, what they told him, is set up either by an oot, if it's a positive word, or by a ne, if it's negative, um, or if you're being told not to do something. There are also specific tenses you must use, but they're a lot more simple than the tenses for the indirect statements. Um, okay, so if your main verb is primary sequence, then um, if it's primary sequence means if it's pr uh, perfect, or no, if it's present, future, or future perfect, then your subjunctive in the indirect command will be present. So use the present subjunctive. And if your main verb is in secondary sequence, or if it is perfect, imperfect, or pluperfect, your subjunctive will be imperfect subjunctive. Easy enough, right? Okay, so now we can move on to the indirect question. Let me write that down. Indirect question. Okay, um, so the indirect question is a bit more complex when it comes to the sequence of tenses. And like the indirect statement, the main verb must be a verb above the neck. But it also mean, must be an interrogative word. And all that means is that it's a verb of questioning. So let me write that down. A verb of questioning. Okay, so it must be a verb of questioning. And since the interrogative word is setting it up, you don't need an oot or a ne. And let me go ahead and give you the sequence of tenses. So, if the main verb is in the primary sequence, then you use the present... If the, in, if the verb in the indirect question is happening at the same time, as the main verb, and you're going to use perfect if the verb in uh, your indirect question is happening at the time before your main verb. So on the other hand, if your main verb is in secondary sequence, then you are going to um, if the if it's same time or time before, then you are going to use um, your imperfect for the same time, and you're going to use your pluperfect for the time before. So there you have it. Those are the indirect commands and indirect questions. Um, in the next few videos, we'll be talking about different kinds of clauses, like relative clauses, etc. Um, so thank you for watching.